and then hopefully step on the trap. Recently, the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife put up these wolf trapping signs out near the Wikiup Reservoir. There's some wolves down there in the Upper Deschutes area, um, a pack that we refer to as the Upper Deschutes Wolf Pack, and we've successfully had radio callers in that pack in the past, and it's time to put out a new radio caller. Regional wolf biologist Aaron Bott says the Upper Deschutes Wolf Pack fluctuates in numbers, but usually consists of six or seven wolves. The ODFW uses non-lethal leg traps to capture, then sedate the animal before putting on a tracking collar and releasing it back to the wild. This helps us to better understand the movements of wolves on the landscape, uh, the spaces that they use, how they migrate back and forth and connect with one another as a population. Bot says they typically try trapping wolves come fall and springtime, depending on weather conditions and recreation circumstances. Though the traps are safe, people out there with furry companions should be aware. Their dogs might get caught in these traps. Um, they're non-injurious uh, traps, and so we have instructions on the sign of who they need to call if they have any concerns, um, as well as instructions on how to safely get your animal out of the trap. The traps, which are put out for around a week, are monitored daily with devices that help notify when an animal is caught. The public is interested in this species, and so uh, these kind of efforts help us to gain a better understanding of, again, wolf space use on the landscape and it's, it's a great resource to have. Steelhaugen, Central Oregon Daily News.